Hi everyone, this is Mary Michon at Bensell Greenhouse in Toledo, Ohio. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how to care for your outdoor hanging basket to get it to survive for you the rest of this summer. So a lot of you have purchased hanging baskets in May, um, maybe even in June, but what you don't realize is that here at our greenhouse, we start potting up hanging baskets sometimes in January or February to get them going. And what's gonna happen now, as you've been watering and fertilizing your basket, this entire root system has now filled your pot up. You have very little soil to hold any moisture. So if you find yourself watering your hanging basket a couple times a day, that might be what's going on in your basket. So this is a really simple technique that you will be able to do. Take your basket out and I'll show you what we're gonna do to keep it thriving for the rest of the summer. Okay, so now what I've done is I've loosened, I've loosened my little hanger off of the plant. And I'm just gonna show you, like, especially if you have like a, a hanging basket that's just dripping down past the plastic of its own, I really wanna show you how to do this. So this guy is hanging over a little bit. This is a white euphorbia with a pink geranium. And if you have a petunia basket that's really hanging long, one of the best things that you can do is just get your arm underneath the, the plant material like I'm doing here. You wanna lift it up. And then you wanna to start to take your basket and hang it on its side. I usually take my arm and push on the basket to loosen the, the plant up. And then we're just gonna slide it out. Now you can kind of see what the root system looks like on this pot to show that it is pretty full of roots. And I'll show you what we're gonna do next. All right, so we've got our pot, we've got our plants out of the pot. I've still got it on its side, and it's just such a simple, a simple way to help get your plants to survive. I have a nice serrated, very sharp knife, and I'm literally gonna come in and take a third of the root system away. We're doing a nice clean cut, and we're gonna get rid of that, just like that. All right, now it's ready to go back into the pot. Sometimes what I do, taking a look at it, is I actually lay it back down, and I come in, if there's a little bit of extra area here where there isn't any plant material, I might just take a little of this away. Okay, we're gonna take some of that off to the side. All right, and then I have my soil. I'm gonna fill my pot up with about the same depth of what I just cut off. And now we're gonna set it back inside the pot. We're gonna get it down and I'm gonna to top dress it with a little extra soil. We're gonna pull some soil down into that area where I cut it off the side. And now what's gonna happen is as we cut the root system off, you're gonna see the, the root system is gonna start growing back into the bottom of the pot again. And you'll see a nice new flush of growth and blooms coming on your hanging basket. So like I said, the reason why we're doing this is because there's now gonna be a good amount of soil in here to hold the moisture and possibly the fertilizer that you're giving your plant. It's also an okay thing to, if you have some granular, I'm gonna take this back out, to take your granular fertilizer and mix it in well with the loose soil. I like to mix granular fertilizer in the soil in and of itself instead of top dressing it because you have you have valleys in your pots. And if you take your granular fertilizer, it go, tends to fall towards the stem of your plants. They all gather and when you water, it bursts open and it can burn that, that stem system where all of those little pellets have fallen to. So I like to mix a granular in. So we've done a little bit of granular fertilizer. You can still, to keep those blooms going and to push them, you can still do a liquid fertilizer as well. Now you have soil that's gonna actually hold the fertilizer in, its, in the pot and the plant's gonna be able to take it up. The last thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and we're literally going to take off anything that is spent, all of your spent flowers. And I'm really gonna come in with this euphorbia and I'm gonna kind of give it a good cut because with that new root growth that we have, where we are cutting this, you're gonna see new growth and you're gonna see a nice flush of blooms. So you're gonna take about five minutes to do your hanging baskets 
give them a good drink, give them a good fertilizing, trim them if you think they need it, make sure you're, you're taking off any spent flowers, and just watch over the next two weeks, your hanging basket will transform and it will look like you just brought it home from the store.